And gold medalist Elisa Camplin is continuing to honour her son Finnan, who died from a congenital heart defect three years ago. The Winter Olympians donated life-saving equipment to help other little battlers. Sally's next with a look at the weather. Tim, I'll have your seven-day forecast a little later on. Welcome back. We got to 34 degrees this afternoon after a low of 17 degrees, currently sitting on just above 32. The late sea breeze did little to change the temperature in Swanbourne. It got to 35 degrees, that's 6 degrees above the average, and it was certainly a little warmer across eastern parts of the city as well, 34 degrees in Armidale. You can see also cooler in Ocean Reef, 32 degrees the top there. Now the reason why we had such a hot day today is that this trough line here is starting to deepen. We've had these east northeasterly winds. That'll continue continue to deepen tomorrow as well and it's going to bring an unstable air mass across the southwest so storms are likely to develop. We'll start to see a track inland come Thursday and a cold front will sweep up into the southwest bringing much cooler weather into the weekend. We are going to see a little bit of wet weather across inland parts of the southwest, one to five millimetres at best and we've got two tropical lows just across Queensland's coastline not forecast to affect the coast. The wet day in Melbourne today will ease to showers tomorrow. On top of 31 degrees there. A lovely fine looking day in Sydney, 28 degrees the top with a light morning shower forecast also in Brisbane. Back to our north, we're looking at showers and storms around uh, Derby and also Broome, a top of 36 degrees there. Very hot in the Pilbara. Note these temperatures, 40 in Exmouth. That's the heat that's heading south and tomorrow it'll kick off with a hot and stormy day. So quite humid across the southwest. Places like Bunbury, Bustleton and also Margaret River too. Uh, we, will, we will see a fine and rather mild day in Esperance, a top of 28 degrees there. So we're looking at storms that develop across northern parts of the city. Now we're looking at mostly the hills being affected here. If we see a spit off spat across the Perth uh, metro gauge, then we are going to see that record broken. But at this stage, most areas seeing about one to five millimetres. The swell will build across the south, but it's going to be easing back over the next day or so. So the best way is first thing, up to three foot around Trigg and further south and yelling up Smith's Beach will see waves to five feet. Now the heat again in the Pilbara, seeing the very dark red here streaming right down into the southwest. Temperatures of 43 in Roburn, that's to forecast, forecast to affect the city as well. Light southeasterlies out there in the waters cease to about a metre and that 37 degree temperature will be 7 above tomorrow. Storms starting to ease just in the morning, we could see one on Thursday. Much milder temperatures on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Tim, but it will warm up next week. All right, thank you very much, Sal. And that is Nine News for this Tuesday. Thank you very much for your company. Good night. Hello. I'm